In this first session, I'm going to go over getting started with Adobe Audition. Now, if you've already used Adobe Audition, I will be going over some of the basics, but of course, it's always good to reinforce the knowledge you already have. So let's get started. How do you record your first file? Well, that's really easy. You just go into File, New, Audio File, or you can hit Shift Command N on the Mac and give that file a name, Mike's Podcast. Once I've done that to start recording, just hit Record. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and you're listening to my latest podcast. Okay, so now I've finished my first recording, I hit the spacebar key or the stop button down here. If I want to play it back, it's really easy. Just drop the playhead wherever you want to start playing from. So just before I start talking and hit the spacebar or the play key here. Hello, this is Mike Russell, and you're listening to my latest podcast. Now, say I wanted to re-record part of what I've just said there in the file that's already open. All I need to do is select the area I want to re-record over and then hit the record button or shift and space, whichever you prefer. Radio show. And play back and I've just re-recorded a word. Hello, this is Mike Russell and you're listening to my latest radio show. Notice it doesn't flow very well though. Well, an easy way to edit and change this file is by selecting portions of the audio. So say I want to cut out some silence there. I'd select it with my mouse and then to delete audio from a file, just hit delete. To my latest radio show. Sounds a little more natural now. I'm sure you'll also be familiar with functions like cut, copy, paste, undo, redo if you've used any popular word processor. You can do this with audio too. So say I select the first part of radio show and then hit command C. That's now copied to my clipboard. And then I'll put the playhead where I want to paste, command V. And again, select again where I want to paste. And again. And I've created a nice stutter effect by copying and pasting. Ra ra radio show. Of course, if I want to undo what I've just done, it's Command Z. And we're back to normal. I can redo those actions again by hitting Command Y. And of course, if you want to cut something completely out of the audio, Command X will cut it to the clipboard. Now, of course, if you wanted to delete audio, the better option is just to hit the delete key. Another really cool feature of Adobe Audition is the spectral frequency display, which you can access by hitting Shift and D, clicking this icon up here, or simply by dragging this bar at the bottom upwards. Now I'll show you what this baby does later on, but believe me, it's really cool if you want to do fine audio editing and noise elimination. For now though, I'll close that and I'll show you how to set up shortcut keys to make your workflow as easy as possible when editing a podcast. You'll want to have keys like silence and normalize and all those regular features that you're using all the time. You don't want to have to go into the menu bar and select the effect and select the preset. You just want it on a hotkey. So let me show you how to do that. Something I use often is the normalize feature. Now, if I had to keep going into effects, amplitude and compression, normalize and clicking OK, whew, I'd be here all day editing. So let's add normalize now to a hotkey. Go into the favorites menu and check that normalize is there. Now in this case, there are two different normalizes which I can choose to use. If normalize wasn't in the menu or you wanted to add a different effect to normalization and it didn't appear in your favorites, you can do this really easily by selecting any effect you like. For instance, I might want to go for echo and then I'll choose a preset like for instance, danger, sci-fi cliche approaching. Sounds like a good one. Hit the star button and give it a name. So danger in big capitals, click OK. Cross out of that, go to your favorites menu and there it is. Danger is now in your favorites and you can assign it to a hotkey once it's in your favorites menu. So how do you assign any of these favorites to a hotkey? Well, simply go to the edit menu, keyboard shortcuts, find your favorites menu and then choose the favorite you'd like to assign to a hotkey. So I'm going to add normalize to minus 0.1 dB. It's an effect I use all the time. Click the add button and hit the hotkey you'd like to assign it to. N for normalize for me. And you can go ahead and do this with other things like fade in, fade out, and anything else that you might use regularly when editing your podcast. A favorite for me is silence as a hotkey so that I can quickly go through my audio and add the silence effect to any parts of the audio where I'm not talking to make it nice and smooth. You can find silence in the effects menu right here, silence. I've added the Q hotkey instead of S, and it's just a personal preference. I like Q for quiet. The final two tricks I'm going to show you in session one are how to add markers to your audio while you're recording and also the snapping feature in Adobe Audition. 
When you want to add a marker to any point of your recording, you simply hit the M key on your keyboard. It's as simple as that. So I'm going to re-record over this audio now, start talking, and add markers as I'm talking. Hello, this is Mike Russell. Welcome to the podcast. This is a point I'm going to need to edit out, and I want to tell you all about fish today. And now I'm going to talk about something else, like a promo or something that I want to include later on in the podcast. So there we go. Now you can see I've placed many markers there. There's a marker here, here, and here, and here. Now, if I want to access those markers really quickly, you can click Markers over here, or simply go into the Window menu and make sure that you've selected markers to see them there. Now, markers don't have to be static points in time. You can actually drag out the duration by clicking here and opening it out. And you'll see now I can actually use this marker to select any portion of the wave I wish for quick reference. I can delete a marker by selecting it and hitting the delete key. It's gone. And I can rename a marker by double clicking on it and then giving it a new name. Edit this out. There you go. Now there are many more uses for markers beyond audio editing. If you click type there, you can create sub clips. CD tracks if you're burning to CD, and cart timer is a feature that many radio stations use to tell automation software when to fire off the next track or play the next jingle. Finally, in this section, I'd like to talk to you about snapping, and more importantly, how to switch it off, because it's probably one of the most annoying parts of Adobe Audition. If I go into the edit menu and then select snapping, you'll see that I've not got it enabled, but I can enable it if I want, and I can choose where my cursor will snap to. So snap to the markers I've created, snap to the ruler, which is the timing, coarse or fine, uh, snap to clips, loops, there are so many options, and often this is used when you're editing music or bits together so that you can match the beats. But let let me show you what happens when I do enable it. Now that it's enabled and it's enabled to snap to the ruler, it's going to snap to points really easily on the ruler like seconds. See there it's snapping to one second. It will also snap to a marker because I've got it enabled for that. There you go. But when you're trying to do a fine edit, that's quite a lot of headroom not to be able to edit between there and there. So I always go into the edit menu, snapping, and make sure enabled is unticked. That's session one, getting started with Adobe Audition. In session two, I'm going to cover how to edit and improve a podcast.